put some alcohol gel on just in case I need to deliver. Shane is massively protective of me and my little girl and he kind of tries his best to give us the security and, you know, like, provide and is very, like, old-fashioned valued in that sense. <sighs> oh. Contraction. Tell him I want some hair relief. I can't do it. Uh, midwife. <sighs> Shane wants to put us in this sort of bubble and, you know, this, like, perfect sort of world and where there's no upset or anything and no stress and he just wants to stick us in it and keep us there. To the left. I'm so scared. No, come on. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You've been building up for this nine months. No, but I'm excited now as well. Hiya, uh, it's Natalie Stride. Turn your mobiles off again. Well, we will have to. Let's just get in first. Hello. Hello. Are you all right? Yes. Got here. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Juliet. I'm going to be looking after you. Do you want to follow me round? Yeah. There's a medical student. Would you mind if he came in? No, with us? fine. Is that all right? He's very nice. It's fine. <laughs> I'm 22, just gone. And I'm 18 years older. He's 39. Yeah, 39 years. Almost 40. See, what we've fought to you. Wow, oh, it's nice to hear. I wasn't even born when he had his first kiss. You were like settling down with a previous yeah. relationship and stuff yeah. as I were being born. Basically, she's coming for induction because she's got SPD. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I've yeah. well, I've SPD is a condition in pregnancy that affects your pelvic joints and it can be really uncomfortable when doing day-to-day -day things like walking and getting up and down the stairs. It is just because of the SPD yeah. that you've yeah. been induced, isn't it? Do you want to bring your ankles up to your bum? Sorry. That's it, lovely. OK, so it'll be cold jelly first, yeah. all right. Some nice deep breaths, this is uncomfortable. And you would know that, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's a diff. <laughs> yeah. I've been told that nice deep breathing helps. <laughs> huh. I'm a taxi driver, so this one day I get this job off Gipton. Uh, I pulls up outside this house and out walks Natalie. She gets in the car. And you, you, know, you just get this spark with some people sometimes. We just hit it off straight away. Uh, we had a bit of banter, a bit Sometimes of Sometimes, it's been up and again. <laughs> <laughs> your cervix is still, like, a centimetre thick. Yeah. But you're about a good two centimetres. She was telling me that her job comes out every day, so it was a decent fare, so I went to office and I That's asked for That's why fare. you asked for it. Of course it is. Because it was uh, a decent And then <laughs> she, she got in car and basically the more and more... We got the more and more we, uh, we went, the, the more and more we fell for each other. Walking around and bouncing on a ball or something, it'll stimulate those hormones to make you contract. And get the show on the road. Yeah, and get your baby in your arms. <laughs> we still get butterflies for each other. Sex is awesome. Don't say things like that. Holy shit. Uh, well, it is. It's, uh... Why, why be prudish about it? That's how Robin got here in the first place. Come on, Robin. No going back now. No sending me home. Nothing. They're literally going to have a baby. I've just had a trophy. Oh, my God. The trophy are the best. Honestly, they are so the best. Go for that one. Are you going to leave me straight again? Go for that one. No, no. <laughs> Go on. This is coffee. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Toffee. Toffee! What did I say? What did I say? I just got one wrong with the coffee. Coffee, toffee. Let's go again. <laughs> come on. When you coordinate on Delivery Suite, I think even when things are quite calm, somewhere in the back of your mind, you're always planning for, for the next change that might happen. Um, so I think you've always got that B plan. I tried to lure me in with a toffee, but when I had it in my mouth, it was coffee, which is the worst one. I've just had another toffee. High five, yes. What's going on? Right, back to awesome. serious stuff now. I've got to mobilise now to get this baby out. Oh, 
Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Best way to get this baby out. Isn't it? Yeah. With my first little girl, I found out I was pregnant when I was 14 and I was 15 by the time I had her. That's so young, really, isn't it? That is really strong. <sighs> I was living with my grandparents because my mum had passed away when I was younger and um, my dad's never been really around. This is just the start and it hurts. Oh. Me and my little girl's dad were very, very young and a bit crazy, if I'm completely honest. Um, and we'd split up. I can do this. I can do this. So you can, Mum. You've fucking... done it before. You can do it again. You're a stronger person now as well. Aren't you? Yeah. This time round, for Natalie, rather than the first time when she had her first daughter, Saffron, having a partner that stands by her, uh, try and help her through it the best you can, do you know what I mean? Uh, and just try and be there. Put some alcohol gel on just in case I need to deliver. Shane is massively protective of me and my little girl, and he kind of tries his best to give us the security and, you know, like, provide and... Is very like old fashioned valued in that sense. <sighs> oh. Contraction. Tell him I want some pain relief, I can't do it. Uh, midwife. <sighs> Shane wants to put us in this sort of bubble and, you know, this like perfect sort of world and where there's no upset or anything and no stress and he just wants to stick us in it and keep us there. Ah, <sighs> oh, I'm again. Oh. I hate this, but you feel like a spare part. With my first little girl, my labour was horrible. It was, like, 36 hours long and it just took forever. What do you think about a water bit? Uh, I'll give it a try. If we were going to do it, it would move you into another room <sighs> with the big pool in. I was pushing for like nearly four hours and she was just stuck. And then her heart stopped. So we're literally just down there. She was like grey and floppy. And the midwives and stuff, I could, I think back and I could kind of see that they were panicking a little bit. I can't do it, I can't, can't. do it. I can. I'll give you some gas. Feel... You can do it. Don't tell yourself you can't, cos you can. Think positive, you can do it. It's quite scary to think that, that could happen so easily again. Well done. Go on, that's it. <laughs> you can just see the top of baby's head, so just go with your body. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. Stay focused. <laughs> I think because I didn't have a dad, I kind of thought they weren't that important. Yeah. Put me on as hard as you need to, Bob. With Saffron, it was just like, you don't need a man in a life and stuff. And then when, I, when we did get together with, like, me and Shane, and I seen the, the difference in her, I think that made me realise that they are quite important. Nice amount of baby's head we can see. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So baby's not going back in now. Keep that steady breathing in between. That's have a it. look, have a look. Come out. So we want another big push from you, sweetheart. Can you feel? Go on, big push. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>